Welcome to Rehab. On the internet, where all news is old news. We bring you the best and worst of what's happening today. My name is Tim and I'm from Tim's Playroom. I play all kind of games there. If you're interested, please have a look. But that's enough from me. Now begins the world's greatest show. Hashtag Rehash. Hash, hash, hash. Thank you so much to Tim's Playroom who provided our intro for this episode. If you want to be cool like Tim, just in the uh, description type placey thingy down there, just uh, just give us your footage. Um, and we'll give you a meaningful shout out at the end of our episode. Like we always do. Yeah. yeah. Except for that once. So you had a newsy type whatever to start off with? You're going to totally miss the fact that that once was your fault. Okay, I messed up one time, but it's a one strike. Okay. I have two more left. One, one strike. Yes. All right, so yes, I do have some newsy type whatevers. Today, I wanted to talk to uh, the uh, Free Freedom Family about an ad horrible video. <laughs> You'll laugh later, or not? An adorable horror video where kittens reenact the um, the, the scene from Psycho, and then you wanted to talk about. Yeah, I wanted to talk about, last, like in the last episode we talked about a company or a, a news weather channel stealing footage. Uh -huh. I wanted to talk about companies stealing video games. Like stealing keys? No, actually like taking games that have already been made and then taking them, like rewording them and then making it their own. Believe it or not, that's actually how Tetris became known. Really? If it weren't for piracy. Really? Uh, and then I wanted to talk to you about an Iron Man phone that sold for 91 thousand US dollars in China. So, so who would buy that? Like who who has enough money to say, oh I want to go buy an Iron Man phone? We'll talk about that here in a bit. And uh, you wanted to talk about I wanted to talk about what happens when you leave your consoles or cores or anything laying around with a puppy. Is it cute or is it scary? Both. Okay. Alright, so as we mentioned first things first, we're gonna talk about an adorable video that uh, someone uh, with very few subscribers actually just had a semi-viral hit where uh, he gets his cats to reenact the shower <laughs> scene, the murder scene, yeah. from the movie Psycho. And I don't know, like, the first things first, like, cats are, like, the, the internet form of currency. Yeah. If you can get cats to do something cute, you're 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 in like sin. <laughs> See, like, I know it was supposed to be a murder scene, but I couldn't help myself but being like, oh, that's so cute. It's that the can, cutest murder yeah, I've ever it's seen. The, yeah, exactly. It's the cutest murder that's ever If you'd ever like been. to see the full video, click down there in the description and uh, go pay some love if you want. Hit them up with hashtag rehash. Make them wonder what the heck is going on and why these people are saying these things. Right. And uh, you had a newsy type thing, or right. whatever. Yeah, newsy so type, a, a newsy type, whatever. Yeah. So, in the last episode that you and I made, or the clones that are in the other room. Shh. Okay, okay. Uh, anyway, the last episode that you guys seen, we were talking about. How do you know they didn't skip an episode? Maybe they. Did you guys skip an episode? Why, why wouldn't you skip an episode? Go watch the other ones. Anyway, regardless, back on topic. Last episode, we talked about a, a weather channel stealing a YouTube content creator's footage, and we thought that was just insane. And we were wondering, how often does that happen? Now, I wanted to talk to you and the Freedom Family, and you, of course, uh, about a company based out of China that has stolen an already developed game, reworded it with Chinese letters, and called it their own. And on top of that, it became more viral than the original one. I missed most of what you said because you made a point to make me last. Really? I didn't I didn't hear a word you said. Really? I feel really hurt right here. I'm sorry. On a serious note, this is a huge problem and it happens with indie games a lot. And usually it's just, you know, a, a clone or a ripoff, you know, it, one game and then the developer says, I like that idea, I'm gonna use that and re-implement it. Which is okay-ish sometimes, but then other times not so okay. But literally taking but this the is, game. Yeah, right? the exact, exact <laughs> game. If you'd like, in the uh, description place down below, we'll link both games uh, so that you can review this and look at it for yourself. Yeah, it's called Clicker Heroes. But just a little piece of history, like I mentioned before, uh, if you click that eye that's over there somewhere, there's actually a video where I explain it's... I don't, I just it's don't not going to fall on you. Okay, I was just making sure. The eye is it's, not going to fall. secure? Yes. Okay. Um, where I explain about the history of Tetris and how this exact scenario actually made Tetris. See, I, I never played Tetris. 
Have you ever moved? Put yeah. things in a moving truck? Two or three times. That's Tetris. Yeah. Okay. So imagine my surprise when I found out that a Chinese... You make the faces again. No, dude. I, I don't do those. Okay. Yeah, don't. Imagine my surprise when I found out that a Chinese bu a businessman decided that he was going to pay 91,000 US dollars, or the equivalent in, I assume, yen, to purchase a an Iron Man Galaxy S6. Now, do we have a phone? Now, it is an S6 Edge. So, I mean, it's the nicer of the... But my thing is, I've always been interested in why people would do that. So in a few years, in a few years, the Galaxy S6 will be irrelevant and there will be like a Galaxy S50. I think I can answer that. Okay, go ahead. So the colors red and gold in Chinese culture are seen as um, of symbols of prosperity and wealth and power and all this really cool stuff. Yeah. Which is why a lot of times when you see like, you know, people in like very ornate Chinese garb, you see gold and red. Right, right. Okay. Um, and so, of course, that's not the only reason. Of course, Chinese people, just like the rest of us, sometimes just have way too much money and they don't know what to do with it. Right. So, $91,000 iPhone! Or right. Samsung Galaxy yeah, yeah. Now, actually, this doesn't make sense to me because I've always thought that Tony Stark, if he was any kind of phone guy, would be an Android guy. <laughs> and you had a newsy type whatever. Right. So, I remember going to school, right? Just, just bear me on this You story. went to school. I went to school. Can you imagine that? You guys did too. Nah. So anyway, I went to school one day, and I was in the first or second grade. I'm not sure what that would be in any other country. And I left my PlayStation 2, just got it, had it for a week. I left it on the ground. At the time, I had a puppy. Why did you have... You left it at... I left, it, I left it. Yeah, no, no, no. I left it on the ground at home. Oh, okay. yeah, right. So I went to school. I was all happy. I was gonna come home and play video games. I came home, and what happened? The puppy ate the quartz. So let me get this straight. You went to school, and you were all happy. You were like, "I'm gonna go to school. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat go some to school. lunch. I'm gonna eat some lunch, play recess." And at the same time, your your dog is sitting there like, "He went to school. I'm gonna have eat some lunch." Yeah, and he ate it. Yeah, he ate the PS2. He didn't eat the PS2 whole, but he messed it up enough to where it would no longer play games. He ate the controller in half. And just to reminisce, I wanted to show you a photo of, of the same thing happening to a guy who went to work. He was so eager to come home. He got off of work early, and what happens? The puppy ate his controller. It absolutely devastated the controller. Jimmy, would you mind throwing the picture up on the screen? And not over my face this time? Thank you. So he's, as you guys giggling. Really? I didn't see him laughing. Jimmy, it's not funny. So like I said earlier, you know, it just kind of goes to reminisce, is if you guys have a puppy, just don't leave stuff in the ground or in an area where an animal could get to it because uh, they'll eat it. Yeah. Oh, almost, yeah. So now comes the part of the show where we talk about your comments from Ooh, you. comments. From yesterday's episode. Um, and possibly elsewhere. Uh, el elf, I can't, elf, I can't talk. <laughs> elsewhere on the Freedom <laughs> Channel. Yeah. So comment number one comes from Noble Chase. That's right, a simple name that I can say finally. Finally. So he says, can you guys sum up rehash? So rehash in, in bite-sized sentences in a very, very short context it's a series where we provide you, the Freedom Family, with another form to promote your content if you're a YouTube content creator or if you're just an avid viewer, we provide you guys with, you know, news relevant to what you guys may be interested in. Whether it's, you know, puppies eating controllers or 90, what, $1,000 or uh, Samsung Galaxy S6s and, you know, is there anything else to add to that? Um, I was actually thinking about trying to do an anagram for rehash. But I only got three letters in, so I need more time. <laughs> but, but the, the focus for the show is just to provide you guys with funny, entertaining content that you guys may be interested in, and if you're a YouTube content creator, just to promote what you do. I mean, that's pretty, pretty simple. So Rehash stands for Redundant, Educational-ish, Humble, Awesome, Show of Homework Avoidance. <laughs> we got it! Yeah, I like that. We, we need to start doing that. Yeah. Of course, now you have to wait until after school to do this. Or unless you're one of those people who does your homework in the morning, then watch in the morning. Crisis Diamago says that Google Plus is the dumbest thing ever. Now, I'm not saying that I completely and utterly disagree with the fact that Google Plus has made mistakes and Google Plus is not perfect, but I'd like to point out that there are a lot of dumb things out there. And for you to say that it's the dumbest thing ever, ever. <laughs> means that you think that Google Plus is less dumb than Miley Cyrus, Jessica Simpson, Justin Bieber, and Uggs. 
Did you seriously just come off that with the top of your head? Yes. Wow. <laughs> I would come up with another one, but my brain just exploded. Right. So, I don't know. Tell us in the comment section down below if you think Google Plus is dumber than all four of those things. <laughs> yeah. And now comes the part of the show where we get the pleasure of talking about one of our freedom partners. You guys. And so Tim, from Tim's Playroom, introduced us, and because he introduced us, we get to talk about his channel. Of course. And I actually have it pulled up right... Oops. So we took a look at Tim's channel. There are a couple of things that jump out at me that I want to tell you about, and there are also a couple of things I want to tell Tim. Um, Tim, you've got to turn on Browse View on your channel. Right now, it just looks like a feed of, a feed. of things, yeah. and it doesn't really make you stand out as a creator. Um, turning on Browse View will allow you to feature playlists, it'll allow you to have a, a, tra a channel trailer. Well, yeah, and not only that, but it also increases the, the view time, it increases views. That way, if you guys have like a, a non-subscriber who visits your channel, the first video that's going to pop up is that one. Now, something I really did like about the channel is the guy's banner. Now, well, before we go, I got one no, no, more no, point go to go make. Um, as far as browse view, uh, a lot of people don't understand why it's so important. It's because, as far as viewers who are going to be actively engaged in your future content, who get uh, immersed in you as a brand, right. they're going to shop around. Exactly. They're going to want to look and see what you think your best content is and see what you're featuring. It's those kind of people who are going to be your best commenters, those kind of people who are going to share your videos, and you know, it's that kind of viewer that you really want. I mean, all viewers are great, but the really active ones... Right. Commenters, likers, etc. Yeah. I understand. But back to the whole banner thing, I mean, I really like the guy's banner. I mean, he has a series Monday through Friday, or yeah, even Saturday and Sunday, right? Is that uh, Saturday is not, uh, that one's blank. Okay, so for the most part in his banner, I mean, he tells you exactly what he's going to be uploading. I mean, I think that that alone is unique. I like the fact that he includes his schedule in the banner. Yeah. Uh, I also like just how simple it is, and, and I don't mean simple in a bad way. Um, I, I just really like the fact that, you know, he, he's taking the approach that less is more. Um, now, moving on past that, into the content, uh, he's definitely got a, a very interesting um, diction, uh, the way that he speaks. Right. Um, I'm not sure, um, you know, what uh, region or country that's from, because but, I'm a stupid it, American. But, and, it, but it's unique. He's not like, yeah. hey, welcome to another video. He has like a cool accent oh, going you, on. Oh, you mean like real sites? Yeah, exactly like real sites. Yeah. It's just another random voice that's dull. But with this guy, he has a cool little accent going on. He covers relevant games. I mean, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So... I personally give this one two thumbs up, or I don't know, we should come up with a rating system for these. He's rehashed. Well, he's been rehashed. So, In, in the comments of his videos, I want you to click through in the comments section. I want you to uh, let him know that he has been rehashed, just hashtag rehash in his comments. Just flood him, spam him, until he figures out what's going on. <laughs> um, and hopefully we're going to see some great things from Tim, from Tim's Playroom. In the future. Yeah. So take our advice, Tim, and if you are out there and you're not Tim and you need to take this advice, please do, um, because, I mean, you know, there are only so many times that we can, you know, give this advice. I feel like I've given this advice thousands. a lot over no, the no, years. No, no, thousands of times. But, yeah. So anyways, I think it's almost time to say goodbye. Should we say goodbye? Yeah, if you want to. All you right. I, I, don't, I don't know. We, we, we probably should. We're probably at about, like, 14 minutes right now. Okay. So, what are we going to do it now? Yeah, sure. How about you, now? You can do it. Now? You start it? Now? I have no idea what the outro is. How about now? Sure. Okay. Till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. And be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other. See you guys later. Peace.